Hello all, it's Melinda. I'm back with you today to do a second video in my series of random number pick for Pinterest. And today when I did my random, it was picked for number 98. And number 98 is this layout right here. Let it focus. There we go. This right here from reading the blog, the black is a stamp. So they were able to get it really grungy on the edges, which I really liked. And it's got a square photo. And theirs is all black and white with a pop of yellow. And I don't have a large stamp like this. So I'm going to go with the quote unquote lazy way. And I turn to my script papers that I have, all my text papers. And I have these two that are very colorful with big um, words on them. I'm choosing to go with this one, even though it is a cream base instead of a white base, which normally bothers me, because all the words are going the right direction, where this one they're kind of haphazardly, and I'm thinking that this will be better for me. Who knows, I might end up going with this one when I get all in there because of the white base. But my square photo will be this picture of my husband that I just took just this evening for this layout. He was on the phone and I couldn't wait any longer, so I told him to smile and get in better light. And I took the picture. So without further ado, I have no, nothing else pulled yet but these two papers. I will put you on fast forward so you can see what I end up doing with this. Thank you. I'm going to pull some white paper just so that I can decide how awful the cream is against it. I'm going to chop the photo and because my new printer doesn't like to give me a white border, it's an Epson, I'm going to back it with white to create the border that I like. I love the printer, I just don't like the fact that it's more work to get the white border on it. And I'm just showing you that I like the I like the words "You are my anchor" for this layout, so I want that to be my title. And I'm trying to figure out whether I want to save it and use that as a title, or I want to make my title be that in another form. So I'm just gonna rip this with the idea that I might keep that there. It doesn't look nearly distressed as I want, so I start ripping and tearing some more. I decide I'm not going to keep that word showing, so, but I do have the anchor flare badge that I can use. I need to distress the edges of this so this pulls it away from the background page. Kind of darkens it up a little bit. Almost looks like it's burnt. clean up a little bit. I'm going to cut the strip off the bottom. And this is what I'm going to use for my only real layer, a paper layer in this. I'm just going to rip it. And then I like the ripped edge so much I'm going to go back through and rip the other two edges that aren't torn. This one gave me a problem because it was so tiny. And that covers up the anchor from the paper quite a bit. I decide that I'm going to use these tiny letter stickers to spell out 
you are my anchor. I figured that there was enough words and letters in the that big wide band that I didn't want to add thickers or anything large. I'm going to punch some small confetti hearts. But I figured these little tile letter stickers would look great on the photo and they would draw their own attention because they're on the photo. So they'll hold their own weight. I'm just going to sprinkle them diagonally. Let's do a few more. I'm going to add another border punch. This is um, notebook paper one. I just wanted a little more texture to the layers. Sorry if you're hearing the noise. My children are home for the summer and they're jumping around like monkeys upstairs. I'm going to pop the photo up on some fun foam. I'm going to sprinkle coal from Plain Jane and also tinsel from Heidi Swap. So, kind of a gray and black. No rhyme or reason, just kind of scattering them on there. But when nothing's really random, is it? I try. I'm realizing that I have no place to put the journaling that won't distract from the big band of letters and words. So I'm going to tuck it away. I've, the tag cannot stand on its own. It's the white against the white against the pale. So it needs a reinforcer and I have some pre-punched in basic colors, but I didn't like it. So I'm going to make my own out of the same paper that the hearts are made out of. So it's kind of a dark medium tone teal color. And I'm going to hold it up to the light so that's centered and then just punch it with a normal hole punch. So then I have a punch and it kind of stands out more. I ended up, I end up at the end tracing around it in black. I have to create a pocket for the journaling tag. So I'm going to use my Scott's foam adhesive, put one at the bottom and cut one in half to put on each side. Now what I don't do and I normally do is put a piece of paper on the back to create the pocket. And I didn't think I had to this time, but I do end up ripping it up and and adding that photo because or adding the background because it was too hard to add the extra stuff. Okay, so this is Ferolic Mesh by Blue Fern Studios. And in the and in the sketch they have these little chunks of what I think is very similar to this uh, chipboard. I'm gonna color it black. And I, like I said, I use these two small pieces at first, but I don't end up keeping them, as you'll see. They just, to me, looked odd being cockeyed. They didn't have enough stuff around the photo like they do in the um, one I'm scrap lifting to make it work. So this is where I decide that I'm going to need more. And I have this one long piece and I cut it in half to add it to the rest of it. And then I discover that that's not going to work either because I don't like the pieces going off at an angle. And this is where I'm realizing that having this photo down with that foam is not going to work for me. So I try to fit it back together. And 
yeah, I tried every which way and it just does not work. So I'm going to pop them all off and I'm only going to put it on one side after I figure out how this matches up. And I spare you from having to watch me peel this all up because I have to get right in under the camera and rip it up. I'm just going to glue the hearts down like confetti with my glue pen. No rhyme or reason, kind of sort of like they fell, but definitely going in a vertical or diagonal, I'm sorry, diagonal pattern. Sorry about my big head there. Doesn't take much, but sometimes they stick to your fingers. I'm going to work on the journaling tag next. I'm going to mark it with a pencil where it sits so I can draw my lines under that. And I'm going to draw my lines first with um, my marker, do my journaling in pencil, and then again with the marker and erase it. My journaling reads, I am so thankful every day that you are my hubby. You have the ability to soothe me, to make everything okay in my world. Forever and always, love Mo. And then that slides very nicely in the pocket. I'm going to have to find a piece of, this is leather cording, and it's in a turquoise color. I have to trim it kind of short, else it looks like rabbit ears to me, all kind of poking out in different directions. I'm just checking the sketch to make sure that I have everything. I'm going to show you a slow close-up here. At this point, the anchor badge is not actually glued down. I'll notice that after this. So this turns out to be my interpretation of that sketch. And I realized right there, boom, I didn't glue it down. So I get some pretty thick glue dots in. And I just pop that right back on the corner. Make sure nothing falls off. On the back of my layout, I write 89 of 2017, process video number 30, the date, and that this is a random Pinterest series, and the random Pinterest number was 98. And also, this ended up being part of my summer challenge for Mind the Scrap, and I earned 20 points for it. Now, if you were to look at my Pinterest boards now, this layout that I copied or scrap lifted would not be 98 because every day I add to my Pinterest boards and I also delete. So the number moves around. This is where I decide that I need to outline it so it sticks out better. And I will show you again some quick close ups of that. And then there will be still shots at the end of all the close ups. I want to thank you for watching. And I'm really enjoying this series. I'd like to do this once a week, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching.